Hi, I'm the Toy Mom, and today we're going to open this Play-Doh mix and match set. This one is called Belle's Blooming Castle. Let's design a new gown for Belle. Here's what we're going to use to make Belle's gown. This mold has a top tier and a bottom tier to the dress, so we're going to make the top tier out of the sparkle pink compound, so we'll need some of that. And then this layer will use the yellow. And so we just mold it in there so that it picks up the design from the sides of the mold. On the other side, we have this way to push through to remove the piece from the mold. Look at the detail on that lower level. Isn't that pretty? Let's look at the pink one. Ooh. Don't you love that sparkle? And look, you can see the little petals right there. Let's put the two together and create something fantastic for Belle. I think the design that we made for Belle looks fabulous. But you know what? That means she has an extra dress now. And that's one of the beauties of the mix and matches. Is Ariel, would you like to wear this extra dress and then you can come to the ball with Belle. There we go. Now both girls are ready. This is actually an extruder that grows a rose. So I've taken this part of the extruder and I've put Play-Doh in there. I used the pink that came with the set. And now, and I love how this looks like a potted plant in front of the castle. Now we'll just press down and watch our pretty rose grow. Isn't that neat? Oh, I think that's adorable. The great thing about this set is not only can you make a new gown for Belle, but Let's add some fantastic highlights for the castle and dress it up too. There, that was really fun, giving Belle a new look, giving the castle a new look, and hey, we even gave Ariel a new look because she stopped by. Thanks for watching. Now you can watch another one of my Princess or Play-Doh videos, or you could watch one of my friend's videos. Our pictures are always in the corner like these four examples. And please, don't forget to subscribe.